Let's get back to our forecast. Gorgeous day today, and I think we're in for a good run, I right? I think so. We, we, we deserve a, a <laughs> yes. winning streak around here. Yeah, we do. Let's go to Lonnie Quinn. Lonnie. You know, we always talk, guys, at the end of our newscast, was, hey, we're back on at 4.30 in the morning with the morning team. This morning team, we're covering a lot of strong downpours out there. Early this morning, the rain was pouring, but you're right. KJ, man, we ended up with a beautiful looking day. More good stuff for your day tomorrow. Here you go. Right now, you're 64 degrees, just a couple of clouds overhead. 64 right now. Take you down to about 58 for an overnight low. This morning, you start off at 57, so kind of similar. You made it up to 71 today. Average is 75, so officially four degrees cooler than average. Tomorrow, you're going to make your way a little bit above average. I'll show you what goes on. We're 58 to kick off the morning, so you're kind of chilly out there. But again, you're in the upper 40s, north and west. 47 Monticello, 49 around Sussex, New Jersey. We'll get you up to 77 tomorrow. Nice sunshine, great looking day. Saturday, the same deal, a little bit milder. If you like that, you're 80 degrees on Saturday. Sunday, 82. Now, don't jump to the conclusion that, well, 82, it's a little bit warmer, it's a little bit better. It's not. I, I think the better day is going to be Saturday. Sunday, couple little issues out there. Nothing major, but more clouds, a little bit of a rain chance as well. If it's anything, it's going to be late Sunday. I think the bulk of your day is fine. We currently have the last gasp of that low pressure system, sending a couple of light little showers down the Hudson, nipping at the Jersey Shore around Long Branch. Bigger picture will show you. There's our low. It's exiting. High pressures are filling in. High pressure is going to do us a big favor. It's going to insulate us from this tough weather off to our west. I will say on the back side of these highs, Okay, this high is actually enhancing some of that stormy weather by pumping in some of that southwest wind coming in off of the Gulf, actually sort of a southeast wind coming in off the Gulf and, and just giving some added moisture there. Well, for us, we're on the right side of that high pressure system. We look just fine out there. There's that sort of northerly flow giving us cool readings in the morning hours, but we're insulated. We're beautiful for Friday, for Saturday. Sunday, it sort of nudges itself far enough offshore. Uh, you may see more cloud cover. I'm confident of that. And the rain chances at 8 p.m. nipping off to the west of our area. So I do think late Sunday you could see a few showers out there, so it's possible. This becomes our 11th weekend out of what would be 14 weekends where we've had some rain, which is kind of crazy. I think a lot of us, though, will probably get fourth, our fourth weekend without rain since March 1st. Here are the numbers for you. It looks like this. All across the board, a great day tomorrow, 77. Great day Saturday, 80 degrees. Sunday, it's not a bad day. You've got more clouds out there. And that rain chance would be, you know, after the sun sets. It's Sunday night a little bit, right? And then Monday, you look Pretty good again. Tuesday, you're 82. Wednesday night into Thursday would be the next time that we are watching a, a disturbance come to the area with a rain chance. I know it deserves some. I mean, standing ovation. Yeah. Actually, right. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks, Lon. Thanks, Enjoy. Lon.